Hello, welcome back to Snippet Coder and we are back with another video. In this video, we will learn about how to do debouncing searching in our application. So this is our application. Suppose we have to do some searching in the list and by doing typing and all like here, if I type anything like if I type here the country name like I and D and it will give me all the result related to that keywords. And if I put the full name, it will give me that full match of that result. So if I remove that text, it will give me all the result and default to the collection. So before starting the video if you are new to our channel subscribe to the channel by click on the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos thank you So this is our flutter application. So here we will create the new page and the name of the page we are giving here home underscore page dot dot file and here in the main dot dot file we will remove all the unnecessary code and here we will link this home page and before that we will create this as a stateful visit and here we will link with this home page. So now here first we will design the UI here and here we will replace it with that scaffold visit and then here we will put the app bar. And here we have the title for the app bar and we are putting here debouncing search. And then we have the background color and we are using here color start red ascent. And then here we will create the body part. Then here we are using a container and inside the container we need two things. First one is that text box for searching and the second one we are using here list view for showing all the country names and all. And here we will put the margin here and here in the child we are using here column visit. And the first children we are using a text field and the decoration part we are using a input decoration and then we have the focus color and we are using an outline outline input border and then we have the border side here and we are using a border side color we are using a color dot green color and the width we are using a 1.0 and then we have the enable border and we are using same outline input border and we will just change the color here color we are using a red and here we have to change it to focus border then we have the hint text and we will give here the name search here. So now let's see in the UI also how it's looking. So now here you can see we are getting the search here text box. Now we will, we will code for the list view and all. So here we will create one variable here and we are making it as a list type of string. And here we will store all that country names and all. Then here we have that overwrite void initialize state super dot initialize state. And here we will fill all the data for that countries and all. I am just copy paste that data because it is a lot of data for that country. And here we have all the data that is coming. So now we will create the list view to show all this data and here after text field we will put the list view and for the list view we have to use the expanded visit and here we have the child inside the child we are using a list view dot separated and here we have the item builder and we are putting a context then we have that index and then here we have that separator builder here also we have context index from here we will return divider in the item count we are putting here data dot length and from here in the item builder we will return here list style and here we have the title here and we are using a text visit and we will show with that data and here we will put the index of that collection and here we will do to string and here we will replace i with the index here so now reload the application to see is it working or not so here you can see we are getting all the data here and here we are getting all the data here so now we will implement the debouncing searching and all so let's move to the code part So here we have to create one more collection of the list and for that collection we are going to use for the filter and all because this data we will treat as the master data and the filter data we will do the filtering and all and in case of data is not found on anything we will replace the filter data with the data master data and all and we will initialize with empty array and here we have to create one variable or search query as a variable name and here we are using editing controller and that controller we are going to use in our text field and all and here we have to use the timer for checking the debounce and all and here we have to create one more variable that is search text that I will explain why we are using when we go to that condition and all. So now here we will create one function that will be named as a on search change and that function will be called whenever user put any input in the text box and all and here we will check if debounce dot active is active then we will cancel that debounce that means debounce is already working here we will cancel it and here we are just checking the null safety and all here and then here we have that debounce is equal to timer 
and here we have the constant value and we are putting here duration for how long we have to wait for getting the input from the user like if you're typing here like you're typing any country name like india while typing it will wait for certain period of time then only it will fetch the data from the text box and do the execution part and all and here we are putting millisecond 500 and here we will check if this dot search text is not equal to search query dot text then we will proceed further what it is checking here suppose if i type anything in the text box then it will save that value in the, this variable that is search text and next time if i put another value it will search if both values are not same then only it will execute else it will not because sometimes we click on that text box it will start doing that process and all for doing that we have to put the condition here so that whenever we click on that text bar it will not start immediately and here we will assign filter data is equal to this dot underscore data so here what we are doing we are just assigning the filter data with that master data whenever any search start then we are just putting the new value and then we are just doing the filtering and all and here we are using the set state also so after the filter it will update the ui also after that and here we have this dot underscore filter data is equal to this dot filter data dot fair and here we'll put the condition here item dot to string dot to lowercase and whatever the input we are getting from the user that also we will make it as a lowercase and also the master data also we will put into the lowercase so that we can match to that user input with the master data and here we will put dot contain and in that data we will check for that contain suppose if i put any middle word of that search and all so it will just search that part also and here we have search query dot text dot to string dot to your case and here we will do to list so what we are doing here in that filter data we are just doing the filtering and all and there we are putting the condition where condition and there we are just searching by converting our item text to lowercase and there we are putting the contain filter in the contain we are just passing the text whatever user is typing here and we are converting that list to to list here and after this condition we will assign whatever the text user enter with this variable dot search text is equal to underscore search query dot text so this will be treated as a last previous search so now we will assign this search Search query with our text field and we will go here and here in the text field we have the controller and in the controller we are assigning this search query so after that controller assigning and all we will just add the listener here for that controller and for doing that we have to go there and here we will add search query dot add listener and here we will pass this on search change and also we will call our dispose method and all and here we have overwrite void dispose and here we have search query dot remove listener and here we will remove the listener on the dispose on search change then search query dot dispose then we have debounce dot cancel and we will cancel that debounce after the dispose then we have super dot dispose so now let's do the last part too so now we have to assign that filter data with our data also on the page load like here we have to put filter data is equal to this dot data as this is the first time we are loading the page so in that case filter data will be empty so for that we have to assign that filter data with our this master data so now we have to change the list view also and there we have to change the data with this filter data and here we have we will go to the ui here and there we have to change in the list view and we will replace underscore data with this filter data and here also filter data so now reload the application to see is it working or not so now if i put here continue name india so you can see here it is working fine so if i remove the text now you can see here we are getting all the data master data so now if i change the country to albania you can see here we are getting so now if i put only three character of any country it will give me data on the basis of that contain filter and all so that's all in this video i hope you like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel like comment share i will come back soon with another awesome videos thank you all